Hi everyone, welcome again to another Teacher Joseph YouTube clip. I hope you're all doing well today and I hope you can see and hear me well. Uh, I'm currently testing uh, a new platform called Riverside to see whether it would give me better audio uh, for my YouTube clips and my podcasts. It's also promising me transcripts, but uh, I'm not sure about that uh, because transcripts at the moment for me uh, are the the Achilles heel of making these things. And that just means that they take time, they take a keen eye for detail. Uh, so we'll see what happens if this Riverside is really all singing and dancing with transcripts and everything else. And who knows, maybe it will be better. Anyway, uh, I really just want to check in with you on a couple of things. And probably the main thing to ask is how you're doing with your English. In some parts of the world, this is a very busy time. There's bank holidays. That just means public holidays. Here in the UK, we call them bank holidays. Yesterday was a bank holiday or a public holiday here uh, in the UK. And also, uh, it's been Easter in some parts of the world as well. So that's been happening. There was also, I think, half term uh, last month for uh, universities and students. So a lot of things happening, a lot of things happening. But I really hope that you're all doing very, very well. You know, when we get busy, that's often a time when we begin to question our English because we tend to forget about it. We put it to one side. And then we say, oh, no, my English, you know, it's bad. I haven't had time. And after a break, when you come back to the table, after stopping studying for a while, it's so much harder to get back into. You know, it's so much more difficult to pick up where you left off. Many of you I know study alone because you don't want anyone to hear your English. And because of that as well, you're almost like hiding. There's a feeling that, well, I don't want anyone to hear how bad my English is. And it's such a pity because without other people, you really aren't going to get very far. You know, English is a language, which means that it needs the world to share it with. It, it can't exist alone. Language isn't like that. Language is very much a mental process. So you can learn as many words as you want, but unless you are with someone practicing using those words, you're not going to get very far. We're not designed to be sitting at home with vocabulary. We're designed to be using it and practicing. Now, having said all of that, I know how difficult it is. For me personally, language learning has changed a great deal. You know, when I was a boy, I didn't want anyone around me to practice languages with. I just thought, well, it's a private thing. I really don't want to talk to anyone about it. And uh, even when I became a teacher, I, I still felt that I didn't want to share anything I'd learned with anyone. I think part of the problem is with Britain. We, we don't generally mix well with people. We can be very guarded. We keep our hobbies hidden so that other people can't uh, access them or know too much about us. I don't know why we're like that. It's really dysfunctional. Maybe we're afraid people will laugh at us, especially with language learning, and especially if you don't come from an academic background. Uh, you may be questioned by your family why you'd want to waste time and money on something silly. 
they wouldn't understand maybe why you would be wanting to leave, you know, or to leave the area you live in. So we we all have our individual challenges, but whatever's happening for you today, I really would invite you to try to get a language partner, someone to practice with, or try to find a teacher who's going to ask you questions, who's going to really um, just spend some time with you. It doesn't have to be a hard conversation, you know, uh, teachers, we're not going to attack you with grammar, so we can just take it slow and talk about what it is that, that you need or what it is you feel isn't quite right. And if you just need to practice grammar because you don't have anyone to talk with, that's also fine. But whatever way you do it, you really do need to be letting somebody in uh, to get close to you just to practice your English, you know. Uh, I know that um, for me personally, I can also tell you that it's really important to set the right intention and to honor that intention. So if you're learning English just because it's a nice thing to do, it might not be strong enough to hold you to the demands of English because as you get into it more, it becomes a challenge. And if you're only doing it as a hobby, you might say, oh, well, you know, it's a bit hard. I thought it would be easier. And then you quit. It might be easier simply to um, have a better intention. Maybe like I want to share my culture with the world or um, I want to work abroad or I want to uh, learn about someone else's culture. These are more wholesome. Um, the one about work to make money in these things, it's a good intention, but it's very demanding. So try to keep it as pure as you can. Um, I really want to uh, share my culture with someone. I really want to meet someone new. I really want to learn about other places in the world. These are all really good intentions. And also, uh, when things do get tough, um, you can also rely on teachers and language partners to remind you why you are learning in the first place. I know for me, as a British man, I was always very attracted to Spanish and Latin American culture. Ever since I was a child, uh, Spanish people seemed so relaxed. They were family orientated. They all seemed to be having a very good, strong, nice, relaxed life. Of course, that's a stereotype. They're not like that. But my intention of learning was to go to Spain to learn more about Spanish culture. And of course I did. And the more I did that, the more it inspired me to continue. Uh, and then um, with Persian, another language I started to learn, Farsi from Iran, it was the same. Uh, I really wanted to learn more about how they were living. Although it was a little bit of a shock when I started to meet Persians and Iranian people because it wasn't quite why I, what I imagined because they were in their minds trying to escape being Iranian. They all wanted to be Latin. They all wanted to leave. Iran sounded like it was one big departure lounge at the airport. And uh, that kind of put me off a little bit because um, people were really saying, look, why do you want to learn Farsi? This is ridiculous. Uh, you've got English. That should be enough to help you make money. And I was trying to explain, but it's not about money. You know, here in the UK, uh, yeah, it's true. We are a capitalist country, but actually we don't, uh, we, you know, we don't go around saying and talking about money all the time. Many of us are trying to escape the day-to-day -day life, this, this uh, entrapment that we seem to be stuck in uh, of 
very little in the way of true feelings and social lives and working long hours. You know, I think people are trying to learn how to relax more. And uh, it's true that the West uh, taught us a lot of really good skills, you know, but uh, many of us are trying to uh, escape what we see as a really dysfunctional culture. So if you're thinking that UK culture is perfect, it's far from it. In fact, it's changing a lot now as well. So get your intention right about learning. Um, the more you can make it pure, sharing with other people, um, I think that's probably the, the, the best thing you could be doing. But uh, don't get caught up in this trap that life is better somewhere else because uh, no matter where you go, you'll always be meeting challenges, but you'll also be meeting nice people. One thing about the UK is uh, we love uh, people who come from other countries. We don't love each other. <laughs> That's certainly true, but we really enjoy meeting people who bring a fresh idea to us, you know, at least I do. I love that. So uh, if there's anyone around here that's European or not British, naturally I gravitate towards them because I know that they can teach me something. Uh, so things are changing and it's really important you keep that in your mind as well. Right, well that's all I wanted to say right now. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, remember, do try and stay focused on your learning. If you have a solid intention to share with other people, that will keep you warm when the cold times come. But do try to work with your intention. Reflect on it a lot just to make sure that it's taking you to the place that it should. Well, that's it for me right now. This platform has worked well, hasn't it? So uh, who knows? Maybe I'll subscribe to it. Brought to you today by Riverside. Comments, please. See you soon. Take care. Bye.